So uh, I'm Ron Dembo from Zero Footprint, uh, here based here in Toronto. Um, the world we live in, you know, is is one that's at odds with the problem that we face. So in our world, uh, every building is done. You don't know what it does, how much carbon it produces. You eat a piece of meat, and you don't know where it came from, really, or what its life cycle is. You buy a table, and you don't know if this is a good table or a bad table. You pick up a piece of paper. That notebook might contain, you know, a, uh, a pristine piece of pristine forest illegally logged. So part of the problem that we face is that the world is in, our world is invisible. I mean, the world of carbon, the world of energy is invisible. Uh, for, just to make it uh, an analogy, if that was water and it was gushing, you'd know it was a lot. And if it was dripping, you'd know it was a little. But you look at that like you can't tell whether it's a lot or a little. If there was a little gauge in this room that said, you know, uh, this room is consuming more per square foot than 90% of all rooms like it in Toronto, you'd say, well, wow, there's a problem here. So we don't have that kind of measure. So, so I think one of the biggest challenges is around socially responsible consumer, consuming is simply understanding what it is that we're consuming and its impact. So uh, I gave an example of a cell phone. You know, your cell phone might contain coltan that was mined illegally with slave labor, uh, and that's, that's funding a war in the Congo. Well, if you knew that, you might, and you had a choice between two cell phones, you would, you would take that into account, you know, um, and you don't. And so I think one of our biggest challenges is, is making the invisible visible. Great. And the economic crisis. Yeah. What role do you see that in sort of uh, either furthering the movement or, or hindering it? I actually think uh, there's two ways to look at it, but one, one way is that it's a huge opportunity because a lot of making the world more responsible and our consuming responsible is actually cutting down on energy or streamlining what we do or consuming less. Um, so for example, um, if we knew how much energy we this building was using and we actually took that into account and we actually ran it with less of a footprint then uh, we'd save money. And this is a good time to be saving money. So I think there's so much low-hanging fruit where you can save money and do good. It's a real opportunity is to focus on, on those areas where you, know, you both save money and do good.